it's freezing again. In fact, it's below freezing, but this time I'm a little bit more prepared. I've got my hat, got my gloves. So I'm gonna come out and get some pictures today. We're gonna see what's about. I'm with Coops, as always. Down there, camera out, snapping away. We're gonna go for a little wander. Got a couple of hours, so we'll see what we find. Well, we've literally been out of the car for two minutes and we've walked 20 meters down a path and I've already found what I wanna do for my first shot. I'll turn around and you might be able to see it behind me. Nice path with the, the bare trees overhanging, um, creating the tunnel going all the way down, down the path there. And I think it could be an interesting shot. It's, it's one of these ones that you just see and think, yeah, I wanna take a picture of that. And based on my last trip out which i don't know if you see it i'll put a card up there so you can check it out if you want i struggled really badly seeing a shot so already this is a, a good sign set the camera up looking down the path to go and try and get the shot that i want now I think I'm having a similar problem to one I had before where really I want a, a bigger lens, a longer lens to isolate the, the path and the tunnel section of the photograph. I've got an idea for the post-processing where I could maybe highlight the middle, put a vignette around the outside to draw the eye in a little bit extra, maybe, I don't know, that's maybe getting a bit too fancy for someone on my standard, but I still like the shot, so we'll see how it comes out. Just to rub it in, Coops has got a 70 to 300 on there now, and he's having a go at that shot using the different focal length. Um, I guess it's a great way of knowing if what, I, what I'm thinking is right, because we can now see from Coops' shot, so I'll put yeah, the bow. It's exactly what you're wanting as well. That's the way forward, is it? Yeah, I would say so. Well, look at, oh, my fingers are working. theory in there was right I just don't have the equipment to follow through with what I want to do so there we go I'm getting on Amazon later on no <laughs> joking joking I have to say that for the wife because she'll kill me and it would be great to hear what you think if you could let us know down below because I think the I think mine's going to look okay I think Coops has got potential for being the actual shot that I wanted um, but let us know what you think right first picture in the bag uh gonna carry on walking down this path see what's down there and see what we come up with so walked maybe 10 meters if that and i found another shot that i really like it's actually some farm buildings there's fields in the foreground and then behind that there's some uh, hills slightly dusted with snow um, the sun is super bright but i really like the look of the image again from my from my own eyes whether it translates into a photo i don't know uh, i bracketed the shot um, to try because there's a big contrast with the, the the shadows on the building and as i say the sun's super bright so we'll see how it comes out. I've got high hopes for this one, strangely.
So we're having a little wander down this path, carrying on down the way. And rumour has it there's a, an old disused railway bridge, which we're going to go and have a look at and see what compositions that's going to throw at us. Because we've actually come out with a bit of a plan today and it was to go to this bridge. Yeah. So first time we've ever really put that much thought into something before we've come out. So let's see if this is the way forward or whether we should just stick to what we have been doing. So we found the bridge. Uh, there it is. Looks pretty cool. Gonna have a little explore around and see if there's any sort of shots to be had. So we're here, we're at the bridge, we're underneath it at the moment. The railway used to run across the top before that was abandoned. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've just turned around and in this brightness that you can't really see over my shoulder here, there is a church spire. It's perfectly lined up it's as if someone was thinking about us lowly photographers when they were the landscape. I want to see if there's some sort of shot I think I'm going to struggle again because I think I need more than a 55mm lens to be able to get this to work. So on reflection, I don't think that shot actually works, for me anyway. No reflection on Coops or what he's doing, but the spire's too small in the, the frame of the, the bridge and I don't know, there's just no focal point almost for me anyway but what I'm going to do had another idea maybe get the wide angle on go and try and get the whole arch of that bridge with the the spire in the back I'll see how that works out this don't know until you try I guess Well, tried some wide angle shots. The difference in the light is extreme coming from the bright sun into the, the dark bridge. But I'm not convinced. I'll still spend the time editing it and looking over it. Uh, I'll put it up, we'll put Coops's up as always, and we'll see what. It would really would be great to hear what you guys think, whether, whether we were going down the right path or not. Well, that's the end of that. As you can see, we can't go any further. Private land, barbed wire and locked gates. So, just a little short run out today. It's been good. It has been very good, yeah. Coops is incredibly cold, as you can probably see. <laughs> My finger quite off right now. But, as always, it'd be great to hear what you think of the stuff we've done today. Uh, put all the links for you to look on Instagram, Facebook, all those places you know them but if you like the video please do subscribe leave us a comment and we'll see you next time